Prometheus is totally different. Mm -hmm. I see life is not easy. And people live daily. Is what I get today at eat. Tomorrow will bring himself. Okay, so life is a bit hard. This is Kokorbite, a small Ghanaian fisher's village along the Atlantic coast. With a population just below 9,000 people, it's one of the many West African communities with countless individuals living in extreme poverty. In Kokorbite, the majority of the community struggles to afford basic amenities such as water, food, shelter and education. Even though they lack access to so many of the basic needs, the community is one that is self-reliant. They work together to sustain themselves, making the amity inevitable. They have this incredible sense of belonging that many of us never get to experience. In a way, the people who have less, have more. It's who you are and how you see the world that is significant. The Ghanaians may not have everything, but they work with what they have. The people within Kokobite have so much potential, yet due to their lack of formal education, need for financial security and countless other challenges, these talents may never be discovered. This potential is what Jane and Marshall saw. They realised that the children of the village had no opportunities to explore their talents. By establishing the Kokobite Children's Centre, they support 1,200 families in getting and keeping their children in school. They realised that creating access to clean water, sustainable food sources and secondary education was a valuable step in allowing the community to reach their full potential. For four years now, we, groups of students at IZL, have been working alongside Jane and Marshall. We aim to help the community address key challenges that are largely outside of their control. Over the years, we identified the problem, and now we are working on providing the solution. In simple words, Kokrabite is a fishing village that is running out of fish. This is why we are introducing the aquaponics project. Aquaponics is a combination of aquaculture, raising fish, and hydroponics, the soilless growing of plants, that raises fish and plants together in one integrated system. The system will not only provide a sustainable food source, but will also create more job opportunities within the community. On top of this, should the project be a success, it'd be possible to transfer the knowledge to neighbouring communities, providing them with similar benefits. The excitement and curiosity within the local community is what drove this project to completion. Without them, it would still be a dream. Over the years, fresh water sources in Africa have been depleted. Clean water from 30 years ago has been taken out by upstream development, and rising water prices bring the threat of waterborne illnesses on the local community. To address this, we've been working alongside engineers in Germany, pitching our idea and persuading them to donate a complete desalinisation system. In order for this project to begin, we worked on building the pump house from the base up building the foundation and walls so that the system could begin facilitating the provision of clean drinking water to over 8,000 individuals.
during the 2018 IZLPW Week. A group of 30 students successfully kickstarted these projects, hoping to start a chain reaction of making a change between the agency. We're attempting to create an everlasting difference. Cocorvita is not what you see at first glance. There's a lot more beneath the surface and under the dust. 